Hi guys, welcome to OB Talks. My name is Federico and I'm a scientific advisor for IB USA. In this brief weekly podcast, we're going to look into interesting and applied research paper in the field of enology. So wherever you are at work or at home, just sit down, relax, have a glass of wine and follow me. Welcome everybody to this new episode of IB Talks. This week, we're gonna talk about how cold soak influenced the chemical and sensory properties of red wine. The article titled, Impact of Cold Soak Duration on Cabernet Sauvignon Fermentation and Phenolic Composition has been published in the Journal of the Science of Food and Agriculture in 2018 by Larry Lerno under the supervision of Professor Anita Oberholster of UC Davis. During winemaking, a phenolic compound such as anthocyanin, flavonols, all of which contribute to the quality, the color, the mouthfeel of the taste, are extracted from grapes, skins, and seeds. And this phenolic composition depends on several factors the grape variety, the phenolic content of the berries of the maturity, and many winemaking techniques have been developed to enhance the extraction of this phenolic compound. One of these is the cold soak. Cold soak is defined as pre-fermentative maceration during which the mast is kept at low temperature for several days prior to alcoholic fermentation. It is widely believed that the use of cold soak increased the extraction of anthocyanin, skin tannins, and aroma compounds from grape skins into the wine. The difference in result in the cold soak are potentially due to the different grape varieties, the cold soak duration and temperature, the varied winemaking processes, and sometimes the differing method analysis. However, one trend that appears more consistent is that the longer the cold soak, usually the greater levels of the phenolics. The effect of cold soak on the sensory properties of the final wines has also been studied in different grape varieties. Previous studies didn't focus on the extraction during cold soak and alcoholic fermentation. And additionally, there is limited data on the impact of cold soak duration on the sensory properties of the resulting wine. Therefore, this study aimed to investigate the effects of increasing cold soak duration on the phenolic extraction, on the sensory properties, and if cold soak affect the polysaccharide profile of the wine. The experiment was first made in a small scale fermentation and then replicate in a commercial scale. Six cold soak duration were investigated, representing a total skin contact time ranging from nine to 18 days. Pump overs were performed twice daily and fermentation were pressed at the end of fermentation approximately after eight days. The chemical measurement were made twice a day just after the pump overs and the final chemical and sensory measurement were made three months after bottling. Results show that phenolic compounds extraction slowly increased from the beginning to the end of cold soak, followed by an increased extraction during fermentation. However, at the end, the treatment were not significantly different. Only after three months of bottle aging, epicatechin concentration were higher in the 10 days cold soak compared to the other treatments. Four day cold soak treatment had the greatest anthocyanin extraction concentration, followed by an increased extraction during fermentation. The maximum was reached after six and seven days, followed by a decrease that could be explained by the absorption of anthocyanins 
into the grape solid or by secondary reaction. No significant difference in the total anthocyanins were seen among the treatments by the end of fermentation, indicating that cold soap duration had no effect on total anthocyanin. It followed by at least six to seven days of alcoholic fermentation at 25 Celsius. However, the concentration of acylated anthocyanin were lower in the 10 days cold soak compared to the control. The extraction of the other phenolic compounds was relatively constant during cold soak, with a majority of it occurring at the beginning of alcoholic fermentation. At the end, there was no significant differences. However, the result from the measure of proantocyanidine indicate the longer cold soak duration could potentially favor seed extraction. Polysaccharide abundance instead generally increased up to seven days of cold soak while decreasing after it. Sensor evaluation show no difference in mouthfeel. Four and seven days cold soap wine exhibit higher values in caramelized vanilla's brown flavor descriptor compared to the control. Bitterness also significantly decreased with up to two days of cold soap, but there was no added benefit for this attribute without additional cold soap duration. The author therefore concludes that cold soak duration had little impact on the phenolic contact, both during fermentation and bottle aging. Interestingly, the trend were seen in both small scale and commercial scale. However, the anthocyanin were maximally extracted after four days in the small scale and seven days in the commercial scale. This may partially due to a decreased cup management efficiency, slowing the overall extraction. Another trend seen is that longer cold soak can increase the seed tannin extraction. This experiment result can be used as a tool when you want to extract maximal color, but as little tannins as possible from two tannic grapes by employing limited skin and seed content during alcoholic fermentation. Hey guys, thanks for listening. If you'd like to see more of these videos, you just have to subscribe to our YouTube channel or newsletter. If you like more information about IB products and equipment to maximize phenolic extraction and protection, please contact your local sales rep. Stay safe, stay connected. My name is Federico and this is Abitalks.